Okay, hi everyone again, day 4 advent of code, uh, written enclosure. I hope this one will go faster than the previous one, but I guess this is what you get by watching good solutions live without preparation. Uh, I, I may occasionally get stuck, so that, that happens. Okay, let's see what day 4 is about. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't start the timer. Uh, let me start the timer real quick. Okay, day four. Um, I think it does click with that. Um, uh, you discover that you are not the first person to want to sneak in. Covering the walls, someone has spent an hour starting every midnight. Spent an hour starting every midnight for the past few months, secretly observing the guard post. They've been writing down the ID of the one guard on duty that night. The elves seem to have decided that one guard was enough for the overnight shift. As well as when they fall asleep or wake up while at their post. Your puzzle input. For example, consider the following records, which have already been organized in the chronological order. Guard 10 begins shift, falls asleep, wakes up, falls asleep, wakes up. Guard 99 begins shift, falls asleep, wakes up. Guard 10 begins shift, um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so um, the year apparently is 1518. Timestamps are written using year, month, day, or minute format. The guard falling asleep is, or waking up is always uh, one whose shift most recently started. Okay, because all, um, Okay, so but but this is one guard per day, right? No? Yes. Okay, sort of. Um, because all sleep awake times are during midnight hour, only the minute portion is relevant for those events. Huh. Usually this record shows that guards are asleep at these times. Wait, what? So guard with ID number 10. Minute. The columns are date, which shows the month's day portion of the relevant day. So day from one to five, day one. Yeah, I don't understand this, I guess. Becomes a date which shows the month's day portion of the round day, ID which shows the guard on duty the day, minute which shows, oh, okay, this is day one. The guard is number 10, and these are minutes that he falls asleep. From zero zero to five nine. This one from forty to fifty. No, uh, from forty to fifty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I now get it. Uh, now I get it. Okay. Okay. Um. Blah blah blah. Count the sleep on the minute they fall asleep, and they count as awake on the minute they wake up. For example, because guard day wakes up on 25, minute 25 is marked as awake. If you can figure out the guard most likely to be asleep at a specific time, you might be able to trick the guard into working tonight so you can have the best chance of sneaking in. You have two strategies for choosing the best guard minute combination. Strategy one find the guard that has the most minutes asleep. What minute does that guard spend asleep the most? In the example above, guard 10 spends the most minutes asleep, a total of 50 minutes, while guard 99 on the sleep slept for a total of 30 minutes. Guard 10 was asleep once during minute 24 on two days, whereas any other minute the guard was asleep was only seen on one day. While this example is the entries in chronological order, your entries are in the order you found them. You'll need to organize them before they can be analyzed. What is the ID of the guard you choose 
you chose multiplied by the mean that you chose. And the variable above the answer will be 10. Example, agar 10 spends the most minutes asleep. Okay, that is fine. A total of 50 minutes. Oh, the guy had uh, seven minutes. Guard 10 was asleep most during minute 24. Huh. On the minute 24 here. And it was been the most asleep. Oh, sorry. So he was also asleep at other day. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. Let let let's take a look at at the input, which is not sorted as I get it, right? Mm -hmm. It's not sorted. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, so let's let's copy it. Obviously. Now let's paste it here. So here. Um, so I have input. I have lines. Lines. So it took me five minutes just. Uh, to read the task, uh, some 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 lines, and if I understand this correctly, if you just if you simply uh, like sort those, it should be right because everything is aligned. So we can compare. So basically, lines sort right. Let's see. So it starts on here, fall asleep, wakes up, begin shift, fall asleep, wakes up. Okay, cool. Uh, now we probably need something like parse line, right? So falls asleep and wakes up. Okay. So we will need something like parse line. Let's write this and basically what we need um yeah but well, <clears throat> okay what we need is minute right so the minute is only okay, let me let, let me recheck because all as we are during the midnight hour, so only minutes matter here, right? So yeah, they're all midnight hour, but guard starts sometimes a little bit early, which is fine, I guess. Which is fine, I guess. Okay, so when parsing the line, we will just ignore um, basically. Uh, so we need minute, and we, we we need text, right? So this would be rematches and so we need that for um okay so okay yeah yeah srd2 probably this will be simpler if I space thirty thirty, and this one we are interested in. So these are minutes, and the space, and well, basically everything else, right? And now we need to identify the message type, basically. Guard ID, probably, and everything else. Okay, so, how are we going to return them? Okay. If text is equal, falls asleep. So, we we return that minute, right? Uh, if uh, text equals mix up, we return wake up. 
Uh, otherwise, we need still need to parse this text, and we need to basically find the ID. Uh, we can use uh, e find because like that um, text. So don't forget this. And after that, we return something like that, guard and ID, right? And minute as well. Well, we don't really care about those minutes, but let's include them. Um, let's include them anyway. Okay, let's see. So we must pass for all three of those. Let's see, asleep 64, guard 52, and here something is not correct. Uh, I forget the syntax for eager, uh, for not eager, but greedy regal expression is it like that no. is it like that no no mm. okay google for help is greedy by default. Okay, so why doesn't Because yeah, sorry, it finds what what I need. It's just Simon is wrong. Okay, so guard fifty two, uh, guard on minute fifty two falls asleep. This is fine, and wake up. I guess I will just comment this out for now, so I don't get confused. Now, okay, so now we have uh, like parser. Um, what we need to turn this into is we probably need to collapse these uh, lines into well, sleep awake interval okay so let's just reduce no sorry yeah let's let's just uh, results m something empty guard is nil uh, sleep is nil and awake is nil. Okay, so um, hmm. okay, yeah, 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 something like that. Okay, so uh, basically, what I'm going to do is and lines, right? And lines are lines, basically. Yeah. So basically. Um, if empty lines, we just return rest. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, let operation and argument be parse line first lines, All right? And now uh, condition. So one condition, if, if, and basically it's case, it's case op, depending on the op, if op is guard, 
then we need to return. So we we'll just switch with we'll just switch card, right? So without the same uh, next lines, um, the guard is argument, right? Uh, so sleep is new and the wake is nil. Okay, so if uh, operation is fall asleep, we don't know much yet. So basically, we read the result. Uh, the guard is guard. We keep the guard the same, e and asleep is argument. Finally, if wake up, if operation is wake up, then we do the following. We we actually conch to res something like that. Um, guard ID. A sleep time and dark. So this one we don't need. Uh, we'll switch to the next uh, line. The guard is still the same. The sleep and the wake time. So basically, that's it, right? So let's call it. A it runs. It's it's that's a fine name. Okay, I hope I yeah of course I run okay this one let's go perfect uh let's take intervals so basically this is guard ID uh, he fell asleep at forty one awoke and fifty four guard ID like that uh, sleep awake the same guard fall asleep again probably on the other day right so actually let me see <laughs> let me see take 10 lines okay so this guard falls asleep wakes up then uh, 302 falls asleep wakes up then begins shift again yeah, and the next day. Yeah, okay, so so this is fine. This is fine. So this seems to be working, right? So we now have those intervals, like who fell asleep, when, and why. And now the last thing we need to do, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to find a guard who spends the most minutes asleep. So basically, uh, we just iterate over the intervals, right? So basically reduce all intervals. So each guard times are here. And what we need to do is uh, map guard asleep wake up. Right? So this those are our argument. So basically what we do is we update M at the key guard uh, what we do is basically we try to sum it up plus or zero percent and we try to wake up okay now we get um, this let's sort it sort by second and let's see the last one so this is a guard who spent 43 minutes asleep the first guard uh, this guard only slept one minute asleep so the last one okay so we know the guard and finally we need to find the guard 10, the guard 10 was asleep more during minute 24. And now we need to count the minute he was most asleep in, right? So we know the idea of the guard. So basically, sorry, uh, the idea of the guard is 673, 673 and so 43 minutes, right? So 43 minutes. Okay, super. Uh, so what we need to do here is basically let's filter intervals 
for um, for this guard only, right? Um, okay, this are uh, his intervals, and now we need to figure out which minute he spent asleep most. Um, to do that, we would probably map each minute. Give each minute again its its ID. Um, yeah, so basically interval to map something like that, and basically it's into this range or oh, sorry four minute in range from asleep to awake right so basically um, um minute so like that and we do the same trick we did previously we apply merge trees plus um, so this should work, right? And now we <laughs> now we sort it, sort by second again, and we take last. This is the biggest one. Um, hmm. Why that didn't it work? Sort by second. It didn't work for some reason. Why didn't it work? Oh, because sort by no takes. It's correct. Key if I'm. Okay, so I don't really understand why sort by second doesn't work. This it worked here, right? So. Hmm. It worked here. This is really strange. Oh, sorry, because I need to do this. Right, because I messed up a little bit. So basically, this one is what we need, and uh, operations the apply should go on there. Right, so the minute he's he's was asleep most is 37, and we need to multiply that, so basically. We need to multiply this by this twenty four nine oh one twenty four nine oh one. That's not the right answer. It's too low. Okay, okay, okay. So um, so we got that right. Yes, I hope at least I hope so. So we got that right, and these are minutes. Our guard sleep, right? So these are the minutes he was was asleep during this. So twenty one, and but actually there are a couple of minutes he was asleep then.
Okay, uh, how do I choose minute? What minute does that guard spend asleep the most? So it's a, it, it must be single minute, right? So probably I am I'm wrong about the guard as well. Because I have multiple minutes he was asleep in like 39, 36, 35, 39, 13. Maybe 39. Or maybe I, I need to do like the biggest one, 26, 247. Sounds correct answer. Okay, so okay, uh, let's suppose I messed up because I have no idea whether I <laughs> got the first one correct and the second one correct, right? So intervals, um, lines, right? Okay, so lines, guard again shaved. Okay, let me, let me actually speed um, drawing lines. Speed takes a lot, file first. Um, in puts the four sorted um so we have the four sorted okay let's see let's see yeah, are there any tricks here well basically i guess not i guess not full sleep wakes up full sleep wakes up so this isn't messed up right isn't it's also appear to be sorted like correctly, which is which is good for us. Um, Six thirteen wakes up, falls asleep. So basically, falls asleep for fifty-four to fifty-seven. Um, so the, the first part with sorting seems to be fine. Okay, let's also output this part, basically intervals. Let's sort those by the guard ID, I guess. Okay, so the guard ID six thirteen. This is this guy, right? Appears to be sleeping a lot, I guess. And we found him, right? We found oh, we found six seven three. Actually, this one. Yeah, this guy. Well, hmm. he seems to be all right as well, but like about this guy, they all have like lots of times. Maybe I, I didn't. Okay, let me see. Yeah, something is not correct here. Um, so basically, no, wait, wait, what is this? Oh. This is strange. Six thirteen cannot be one minute. Definitely can be one minute, right? So, huh? Huh? 
something is not right here. So basically, uh, we have intervals, right? Let me check this reduce here. We have intervals. We go with empty map. We accept intervals, which is sleep, wake, or wake up time, and um, we update this map at the index of guard ID by applying this function, right? Which takes the current value or zero if there is no value. Okay, this was really stupid. This was really stupid. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, two, four, four, one, and the amount of units for eight, eight. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is better. So I forgot. I mean, I messed up again. Again. <laughs> Um, so 39, 14, right? let me just, yeah, so basically the minus 39, he was asleep 14 times, uh, the rest, of, so there is one minute, uh, and this is good because this matches the condition, so power for one, multiply by 39. 95, 199, 95. Yes, this is the right answer. Okay, let me, so it took me 30 minutes to figure out, okay. And we have to do the part two. Wow, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of time. Okay, uh, love of guards, which guard is the most frequent to sleep on the same minute? In the example above, guard can spend minutes 40. Five asleep more than any other guard on or minute, three times in total. In all other cases, any guard spend any minute asleep at most twice. When I do the guard, you choose multiplied by the minute you choose. Okay, so we need to find out the guard 99 spread minute 14. Um, so basically, we need to map each guard to the minute he's asleep most, right? Uh -huh. So basically each guard, uh, we take guard ID, okay, let me, let me figure this out. We take guard ID, basically go over each card. So we need like a record like this. Guard ID minute. He's asleep on most and times, right? So and minute might be might be set actually. But let's hope that uh, the guy we are looking for has like mm, the one such minute, right? So Basically, we need to, uh, this calculates the minute the guy is most asleep, asleep most. So basically, uh, let's reduce all, our, all guards with empty map. And we will sock to the map. Well, basically, oh, we, we, we just uh, just can conch actually. Conch, it's called egg. Um, and here we put this. This is a guard. This collects like we can actually transform this. Right. 
so this is like cement is like that. So yeah, um, convert it to this. So basically, if we call it minute asleep most, and we take guard, right? So basically, most two, four, four, one. Yeah, uh, so basically, guard ID, so we need guard ID, and we need the minute, right, so something like that. Uh, and we need to know what guards mean. Okay, so guards basically uh, is into set um, up. So it's basically yeah something like that and here we got like that the minute yeah yeah this is, is not correct actually we need to just first here 39, 14, so it's a minute, and how many times? So basically, uh, something like that. Let's, let's do this, because I want to play in list here. So basically, it's a gut ID, the minute he is asleep most, and the amount of times he is asleep at the moment right so basically what we need to do with this now is we need to sort it by okay something isn't working guard guards right so four five like let's reverse this so the guy number 239 was asleep most on minute 34 seven eight eight seven that's the right answer okay perfect so this one only took me six minutes this is actually much better than the first time. Okay, so let me move this into part two. Right. Let me prettify it a little. Basically, yeah. And here we need first, but. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so and part one was like subscribe. Like um, no, and this and this most is here. This goes after part one because it's only needed in part two. And in part one we need this, so I need to figure out how to need this. Uh, how to uh, represent this interval. So this one basically um, I already oh, forgot what it does. Um, so it finds guard asleep total, right? So something like that. Guard asleep total is This is guard ID, right? And mean amount of minute. Okay, let, let's rena rename this guard sleep total and return just this map. 
because Right, so uh, it's now a matter of like let most asleep is guards asleep total sort by second. Basically, we find the biggest pair, the last one, and we only need the first part of this. So, and it would be most asleep. This is the ID. And finally, basically, what we need is just to do something like that 39 minutes, right? And Oh, sorry. So we need to multiply actually this by the guard ID. So um, I guess I will, when we're parsing the IDs, I guess I should parse. ID here to the number as well. Calculate the intervals. All right. And so that I can find actually do this Oops. and this is the answer to the first part and here something is not right mm. out of bounds etc okay let, let me figure out the first part first okay so the minutes first asleep we didn't change that right Okay, so means was asleep interval to map is still needed, guards asleep total is still needed. Mm. Part one is still cooked, so guards. Okay, this is a guards. Maybe this is because it, it didn't work. So basically, uh, let so it will be guard, then it returns minutes, minutes of sleep most. Um, guard, which minute, how often, something like that, right? So, uh, which minute, so basically, minute, and this is the third one, third argument we are not interested in. So it's basically something like that. All right, and we need to return multiply guard by each minute. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what we get. Okay, maybe some some a little bit more. Um, like Piat five eight will turn into five one six one seven good. and uh, guard sleep total is a map of nothing into. Um, guard ID and how often, right? So basically each guard ID how often did he fall asleep. Okay, this is intervals is basically something like sorry. Guard ID to, to what? Um, 
Is it a map? Is it even a map? No, it's not a map. No, it's, uh, it's basically guard ID, then sleep awake multiple times. Okay, right, and finally parse line. Well, parse line is pretty obvious, right? But, okay, let's document it just for the sake of line into a vector of a sleep minute or okay, I, I'll just rename wake up to awake because everywhere else I used awake. A week, minute, or guard ID. Something like that. I hope it compiles. I hope part one requires part two. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I guess this this works. Finally, after a lot of tries, let's commit it and get over get it over with. Okay, hey, that is this is it. Uh, please join me for further solutions. I don't promise to publish every day, but I hope to cover every day of the advent calendar as it gets available. See you later. Bye bye.